Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jan Moses back here with the Dukes of Dunk players that are going to be dropping in about 30 or so minutes as of this recording here in NBA 2K25, my team. Uh, by the time this video goes live, by the way, I should be live on YouTube myself, streaming the content, going over the agendas, so on and so forth. We're going to try to find uh, good snipe filters and the best ways to get these agendas that we're going to get done in as quickly a way as possible. Uh, I'm curious to see if we're going to get another 10-pack box uh, on a Tuesday after getting them the previous two Tuesdays. However, remember the previous two Tuesday content drops only had diamonds and above, so... I would love to see a 10 pack box where we actually have a chance at getting lower tier cards so it would be really nice to see that um and there are actually a number of uh interesting lower tier cards in this collection before i even get to them i just want to show you guys there is no completion uh reward this week uh which i think is gonna help the prices of cards because you know now if you you know if you pack a bunch of these cards um you're not going to feel the urge to lock it in. You know, I'm trying to put myself, you know, in the shoes of someone who's going to be spending money to rip packs. You're not going to feel that urge to lock in this set to get that 95 plus hidden gems because that's not an option this week. So hopefully we see some of these cards um, pop up on the auction house in larger numbers, which will hopefully mean that we'll see some um, uh, some better prices on these cards. Now, I'm not going to go through every single card. Uh, players like Victor Oladipo we've already seen because Ty Debo has gotten him, I believe, as a King of the Court reward, I want to say. Um, and he showed his stats and his, uh, you know, his gameplay, I believe, back when he was a Hidden Gems card. This card looks like a lot of fun, and it's nice that Victor Oladipo is point guard eligible. Uh, Jason Richardson's always a really fun card to use. Not going to really spend too much time, again, going through these ratings. But 99 driving dunk with a 91 three-pointer is really nice. Looks like a pretty solid perimeter defender with 86. And 94 speed is insane. This card is going to be one of the better cards coming out of this drop today now i do want to bring your guys attention to three cars that are going to be budget tier i'm a little unsure about one of them and we'll talk about him first um, but i want to point these cards out because i don't really want to make this video too long going over all the different players i just want to show you guys players that i personally am kind of intrigued in purchasing um because even if i don't use them online for breakout especially as i've mentioned before in all my breakout 101 videos uh you want to target low tier cards that have a lot of badges and you know good ratings because when you're bringing them into those low medium or easy medium and hard matchups in breakout the cp will match just the tier of card not the ratings of the cards you bring in so if you bring in a guy like robert pack yes he is a ruby and he's only six foot two but an 84 three-pointer is not bad 95 driving dunk is awesome because while jumpers are kind of inconsistent this year uh slashing is not so you, you can take advantage of that with a lot of players in this collection 86 ball handle is nice 85 perimeter defense is solid 92 speed and 92 speed with ball uh, are awesome ratings so this card looks like a really really fun card to use along with 95 stamina which is also great 12 hall of famers a lot of them are shooting but he has gold dead eye which is really nice uh and gold set shot special uh, set shot special let's say that three times fast um and lightning launch i think is really helpful i think uh the sapphire card who's the hidden gem that i've been gassing up for weeks now bimbo coals um i think he has gold lightning launch i think that's a really really good batch to have as well so a lot of really nice badges on robert pack my other budget card that i'm really interested in um is john collins a sapphire six foot nine power forward eligible 81 three-pointers actually higher than i thought they were going to give this john collins card uh 90 standing and driving dunk is pretty nice not going to be anything special defensively and the speed is not anything amazing but he's going to come with nine gold badges which i think is pretty solid for a sapphire um and he has gold set shot specialist which will really help um with you know your ability to shoot you could possibly even run him at center if you don't love that speed at power forward because he does have high flying denier brick wall rebound chaser box out beast post lockdown he has like enough badges where you could run him at center again this is for breakout or maybe salary cap only i would not be bringing these lower tier cards um outside of robert pack maybe into showdown um but the card that i'm most interested in in this set has to be this jamario moon card six foot eight small forward eligible let's get right to the badges first he doesn't have that many only three so you think okay why is jan gassing up this card first of all i heard his jumper is really really nice um 
at least based on what I've seen on Twitter. Uh, 84 three-pointer is really nice. 85 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle is great on this Jamario Moon card. He's not going to be great defensively, but honestly, if he was great defensively, this card would not be an emerald. Um, 84 speed. That is amazing, at least in my opinion, given all the other attributes that he brings to the table for an emerald 6 foot 8 card. Uh, 95 vertical, 80 speed with balls, also not bad. That stamina is a little on the low side, but honestly, again, for breakout or even for salary cap purposes, if you're just using this guy to give you a few minutes here and there, I think he's going to be great. So, yeah, Jamario Moon is definitely the card that I'm the most interested in, and I think this Jamario Moon card could be similar in terms of maybe not necessarily price, but in terms of demand, as Purvis Ellison was, or whatever his name was last week, I've yet to get him myself. Um... Let me see if I can find him. This guy, Purvis Ellison right here, um, who plays amazingly well. I'd love to buy him today too, but you can see he's mighty, mighty pricey. I'm not spending uh, 10k MT on a Sapphire. I'm sorry, I can't. But yeah, those are the cards that I'm really interested in from this set. Let me know down below who you're interested in. Hopefully, I see you guys on stream in the next 30 minutes or so. Until then, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you later.